Welcome to Dear Alice, a lifestyle approach to interior design. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Dear Alice. Today, we are going to be talking about pools. Oh, I'm so ready for a pool. I know. It's summertime. (laughs) We're all thinking about it. Some of you may already have them. Some of you are planning them for your future home. Some of you are going to dig out your backyard right now and put one in. So we're here to just talk about everything, all of our learnings, everything we know, our experience on pools from an interior designer's mind, but also... Um, Sue's been talking to a few experts this week just to really nail down a couple of the questions that we've had about it. So, yep. Yeah. So we're going to launch into it, but really quick, we've got um, a word from Grove. They are supporting our podcast and I'm a big fan. I use it personally. You guys know this. I talk about it a lot. Um, But did you know that only 90% of plastics um, actually gets recycled? No matter how much we put in our recycling bin, At Grove Collaborative, they believe it's time to ditch single-use plastics for good. So switch to sustainable products for every room in your home, from laundry care to hand soaps and more. I use it in my kitchen, in my beauty stuff. Um, They really do have every room in the house. Uh, Grove.co has you covered with safe formulas and refillable packaging. That's really cute because I know everybody listening cares about if it's good looking or not. Um, and it never compromises on performance. So if you guys want to get started, uh, you can go to grove.com slash dear Alice today and get a free gift set worth up to $50 with your first order. Plus shipping is fast and free and you don't have to go buy all the stuff in the grocery store. You can just skip that fluorescent, really bright smelling aisle altogether and just get it all from Grove. Um, it's a subscription, or at least I do the subscription. It's an app on my phone. Couldn't be easier to use. Um, you can get started right now at grove.com slash dear Alice. Again, that's grove.com slash dear Alice. Okay, Sue, so let's get into pools. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, let's talk about it. I know like there's a lot of questions, a lot of a lot of different types of pools for different price points. Um, We've seen a lot of different things. So maybe we should talk about like the different types of pools and then let's get into the one that we use most as designers for, you know, homeowners that want something really lovely. Yeah. And those are going to be the ones too, that you're probably pinning on Pinterest too. So hopefully this helps you to kind of decipher what's what while you're looking at things. Mm -hmm. And the prettiest ones are going to be the the top tier (laughs) of these. Um, yeah, no, I talked to, um, my neighbor, actually Terry, Mm -hmm. who's with Pandora pools and he was super informative and especially there's lots of limitations here in Utah that other States don't have. So again, I might say things that are like Mm -hmm. pertinent to Utah, but no, if you live in Texas, you can do whatever you want because yes. you don't have freeze. Or California. <laughs> so cheers to you. I feel like pools are like trampolines in California and in yep. Arizona. Well, in Arizona, just, I feel oh, like you have, you have to. to have one. Well, yeah, yeah. and they'll be like, and oh, Vegas. it's winter. We're going to heat our pool and <laughs> yeah. you guys can all swim in it. And so I'm like, winter is like our spring here, mm-hmm. you know? Yes. So Utah's dominant four seasons, which is really, really fun because we never really get bored of one season to the next, but also has its challenges because we can only use our pools for five, six months out of the year. Uh, yeah. And then you're like yeah. June, July, August is closed. Maybe yeah. September and then you're out. Like, yeah. You're done. No, I feel like it's September's home. hot here. Yeah. I always feel like in our minds, it's not, it's like back to school, but lately thanks to global warming and whatnot, I feel like September still can be 90 degrees. Yeah. It yes. can also um, snow though too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, like it, my it, wedding day snowed on September, so however, you just that never was know. Long before the global warmed up. You oh know yeah. What I mean? yeah. I don't know. It, it has a lot in the last 10 years, actually. There's an oh, issue. Has? Yeah. I mean, we don't need to talk about this on this podcast, but um, <laughs> podcast. Lake Powell is insanely low right now because yeah. of that. And yeah. it's, I think on average, two degrees warmer than it was even 10 years ago. Oh, so okay. crazy. crazy. Well, it's a yeah. great time to do a pool then because yeah. you're going to get more sunshine. Yeah. You're not going to Lake Powell. So. No. <laughs> Most of you don't live in Utah, but even if you do, you deserve a pool. <laughs> you sure do. Everyone deserves a pool. Uh huh. So when I was talking, the thing that I kind of started the conversation with Terry about was the different types of pools. The ones that we like that are the prettiest ones are the ones that are tiled and gorgeous in Morocco, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, which don't work in Utah necessarily. And, or just like the ones that, that I get drawn to the most are the ones that feel continuous from like the decking to the coping down to the plaster. And there's no hard stops and you just see water. It's a super restful look. 
And so I kind of talked to him, I'm like, what are, what are those compared to the other price points? And he kind of started from the lowest price point, which is a vinyl liner, which I'd never heard of that. Um, might not be on your Pinterest board. Is that like your kiddie pool, but you dig a hole and stick it in? <laughs> it's vinyl. No, that's the above ones. But there's a vinyl liner pool. <laughs> but if you stuck it in the ground, is that kind of like what a vinyl liner is? He, ta- he talked about, he's like, the, it's a less expensive. It's a vinyl line pool. Um, you can... So I bet they cast like in the concrete and then put the liner over that. Yeah. Yeah. He says the surface will fade. um, That's, but it in 10 years when it it does fade from whatever color you choose, it's only about like 10, six to 10,000 to replace and get a new pool. Brand new pool. A brand new pool. You're only going to spend six to $10,000 to reline it. it. And it does sound like there's different colors and things that you can do. How much does the vinyl lined pool cost? And how big is it? Yeah. He said like for like a 20, 18 by 25, um, it would be about 85,000. Okay. Today. So in today. This market. T- right now. Good to know. It's yeah. like, okay. It's like an average car these days. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> we got <laughs> questions. I know. We got questions too about like acrylic tubs and he's like, those are the dropping kinds and the dropping kinds. You can feel like when you like hit your leg on the side of it, it's uh-huh. kind of like those shower like units, you know, like yeah. when you tap it, you're just like, oh, you're not tile. You're. That's imprinted. Anyway, <laughs> so a drop in is about 95,000 for oh, that okay. kind of same size. So yeah. price difference on those two, not a big deal. What yeah. we're dealing mostly in is the gunite or the plaster yeah. pools, which are so yeah, beautiful because mm-hmm. you can control it. Um, you can choose all your finishes. Yep. Yeah. What's exactly. that cost? The stuff dreams um, about of. in that size, 140. He actually he kind of broke down. I'm like, from like 2018 to now for mm-hmm. like a 20 by 40 pool, which mm-hmm. is a really average size pool. Um, he's like, yeah, in 2018, that would have been like 140,000. Today, that's st- the starting for that size is about 175,000. So it has gone up yeah. like everything. Yeah. So anyway, but those are, those are the beautiful ones that we were talking about that feel more continuous. You can really, mm-hmm. as far as like control the color and you know, they'll fade, but it won't be nearly as fast because it's, not vinyl or oh. acrylic, right? So, yeah. so anyway, that's kind of like an, I think a breakdown of just like the three pools that people use the most. Yep. So yeah, great. So yeah. we'll mostly be talking, I think, in the gunite or plaster pools, right? Yeah. I feel like that's the only thing we've dealt with so far in yeah. interior design. But most people that want an yeah. interior designer, generally, you know they generally are building a little bit more luxury product or have Mm -hmm. a little bit more disposable income to put toward Mm -hmm. um, hiring a professional to see it through and make sure that, you know, it's beautiful and specified to their liking and it fits with their home and their style. And, you know, whether you be modern or traditional or European, we can, we can help control the look of that Mm -hmm. because every part of it's customizable. I know. And I've had, I've had just like even family friends and things are just like, what do we do for like the tile? And what do we do for this? And like, if you were going into this without a designer, obviously pull pictures, but try and keep it uniform. Uh I think, um, I don't think you're going to want to have like the glass tile, you know, like, you know, that Mm -hmm. was popular 20 years ago as your liner. Um, there's more beautiful options that can be more seamless, Mm -hmm. you know, and still add safety to your steps and all those things. Um, but try and just keep it seamless and organic. And anyway, we'll kind of go through, we have a ton of listener questions and things. So we'll kind of go through that. Yeah. But um, I wonder we'll if we that first down. outline the anatomy of the pool. Yeah. Cause we talk about coping and some people are like, I don't know what that means when you say coping. Is that like, I'm having a bad day and I'm coping. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm so glad you said I'm that. I'm trying to cope with my allergies right now. <laughs> Does that For mean reals. I have a pool? You do. That's May in Utah. Yes. Yeah. 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 So the coping is the surface right next to the water. It usually has like the bull nose. And I think it's usually about like a minimum of 12 inches from like the pool onto like the pool decking area, Got you know, it. and then usually like larger and then that'll extend into the pool deck. So you have your coping that surrounds the whole border of the pool. And then you, as you go down, there's usually like a tile or, you know, some, usually it, I like it when it's a similar material to the coping mm-hmm. that goes down towards the waterline. They usually, you could do all cast or concrete for that, but it will, depending on your like demographic, like that could have breakdown 
tile's easier to clean, which is why they ask you mm -hmm. to do tile, just because it's easier to replace a tile versus replastering a pool. Oh gosh, so, for sure. And there's soap scum and it's just like build up yeah. along that pool. So anyway, do a tile that just like feels good with your decking. Is it indoor outdoor tile? And there's certain tiles that you use. Yeah, there's this one material that um, Terry was a big fan of called Dekton. And that's actually, we referenced Dekton. D-E-K-T-O-N. Uh -huh, yep. And I was just showing just some pictures of it and it's really pretty. They have lots of different types and it's just super hard. A lot of, sometimes insulation will be a little bit more expensive because it's so hard and they'll go through blades. Wow. You know, when they're actually fabricating. It's a good sign. It's a great sign, but there's a lot of variety and just kind of keep it uniform. And okay. the, you can get like what your style is more like a straight grid, or if you are a little bit more like flagstone, there's options for both of those. You can use porcelain right. tiles. Pretty. So when you go to select, just like see what is outdoor rated for your pool decking and what comes in coping because it's easier and more safe to like have that bull nose uh -huh. to grab onto yes. when you're swimming. So Good keep point. that in mind. Yeah. yeah. Do they, like do they grout in between the tile or the decton or no? I think, I think so. Some or it's type like, of grout. Yeah. It's some type of grout that I don't know, but probably just, install, it will. probably just as, um, durable as the tile itself yeah. or close to it. It's yeah. not like indoor grout or something like that. Yeah. And okay. if you're in like a, if you're in Texas or somewhere where it doesn't have like a freeze thaw, mm -hmm. you're not going to have as many issues with, you know, those tiles popping in the winter time. Like here we have that issue, but still it's easy to replace versus having to replaster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Makes sense. so still, still do that. So yeah. Yeah. Can we talk about salt water versus chlorine pools? Yes. Because I felt like people that talk about saltwater pools today act like they're like this brand new thing and they're like super healthy and it's something yeah, that you would boast to your friends. <laughs> what does a pool expert say about saltwater versus chlorine? This is fascinating. I guess saltwater had like a huge period in like the 70s and 80s where everyone was doing saltwater and it was so Crazy. great. And then, you know, like... 10, 20 years into it, then everybody's kind of like any trend. They switch and they go back to chlorine and now it's making this resurgence and salt water. It's, if you have salt water, you know that when you get out of the water, your skin's smoother. It's not as dry as like when you get out of a chlorine pool. Um, but they both, what they both do is the salt water actually does turn into chlorine through its pumping process. Mm. Um, but the chlorine is a more clean way is what he was telling me. And most professionals would do chlorine still just because of the way it runs with the pump Got it. and everything. But as we know, chlorine dries our skin out, you know, it turns blondes green mm -hmm. and, and everything, but salt water still is the more popular choice right now mm -hmm. because of the way your skin feels when you get out of it. Got but, it. But I thought it was interesting that the salt water, it turns into chlorine <laughs> through that process. So probably talk to your professional about how often yes. you need to update, like, what's in your pool to keep it salt water and less mm -hmm. chlorine percentages or how that translates back once it's been through the motor and the pump. Yeah. And, and I that. think it has to do it. I think the salt water has to, I think that's, yeah, if you have a salt water pool yeah. just know that it turns into chlorine. It's just a, a less potent mm -hmm. and it's a different type of chemistry in how mm -hmm. it's processed. Yeah. But it's still, it's the ability to still keep it clean. Got it. You know, as it circulates in your pool. Got so it. interesting. So, but salt water, if you've swam in salt water, you've probably felt that difference and it's desirable and people are still doing it. So, but it's not new. This, yeah, those cats in the 70s were into it. Yep. So I feel like that's like everything right now. I feel like the 70s are kind of <laughs> like back. And so it's just like, hey, let's just bring the pools. Like with they it, were happier know? then. Yeah. What did they do? Yeah, salt exactly. water. I'm in. <laughs> Um, okay. Uh, we have two listener questions. One is I have an above ground pool. How do I make that look beautiful? Okay. This is a, this is a tricky one. You see, I'm Terry was saying that there's, if you look on Pinterest, you see ones that are like lined in a metal or like pretty landscaping. Like you can do things. Yeah. And it's obviously a much less expensive. It is like the pools that you, you know, mm -hmm. get at Walmart or whatever, but you, he said that the best looking one that he has ever seen was when it's been buried yes. into like a decking material. So you don't see the sides yep. at all. And I'm like, that's actually, I've never seen that, but it seems mm -hmm. like to just kind of not look, make it look like an above ground pool is the best way. Yeah. We had an above ground, ground pool as a kid and it was super, like I loved it as a kid, but looking back, I'm like, that was pretty ghetto. <laughs> but <laughs> but yeah, you can one. sink it, but we yeah. had one. Um, but for sure, sink it. 
you know, mm-hmm. or landscape or try and try and Jedi my trick. Yeah. You know, we have so some it's friends and neighbors that, um, you know, have a lot of like BLM land behind them mm-hmm. and it goes into like scrub Oak and whatnot. And their yard kind of, um, it kind of meanders down a hill mm-hmm. and they found this pocket that's just like, you know, dipped off pretty hard and they put an above ground pool down in that and the natural trees surrounding it. There's like an area of it that, bear. that feels like it's, it's even with the ground level. And then, you know, around the backside, you can tell it's an above ground pool, mm-hmm. but it was very much like they're creative artists and they mm-hmm. made it look like it's everybody's dream right now. Yeah. Like when they post pictures, I'm like, of course it's beautiful. <laughs> they had their hands on it, you know, I know. and they made it work. And is I mean, it round? Just it's like, round. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's probably, Ooh, if I were guessing maybe 14 feet uh, round, like 10 to 14. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's really beautiful. Um, the way they play in it is really darling too. They're such a cute family, but mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. I think it's going to be a landscape thing and a creative thing. And I don't know how they heat it or if it's just cold or they're like on those hundred degree days in Utah, that is when you use your above ground yeah. pool. Yeah. Yeah. And kids will love it. Kids don't, yeah. again, I had no idea when I was a kid. Yeah. Kids, totally. kids don't care Harbor about City cold. was not as pretty as that <laughs> scene. Yeah. But I love you mom for giving me a pool in the summertime. Thank you. It's the you. best. Well, yep. Sue grew up in California. So yep. of course you had one. It's like a trampoline. There. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay. One, one listener says, I have a small backyard. Can I still put a pool in? Totally. We did this one home in, in down in St. George mm-hmm. and they called it a spool. I asked Terry if that's like a technical term. He's like, no, but it's a good name. (laughs) Spools for small pool. And it was just like enough for them to like get wet for the kids to like when it's so hot in St. George, you know, but they didn't have a grip of room back there. Totally. So spool is great. He was also seeing like where he lived, he did pools in Texas and he's like, I lived in this one place that had a lap pool that was five feet by 75 feet. Totally. Strictly for laps, but you can, yeah, you can do a pool Mm-hmm. to whatever constraints you have land wise, you can get as big as you want, get as yeah. small as you want. Um, I love watching all the real estate shows on Bravo. Yeah, you do. One of them's called selling sunset and you they, may have heard of it. They, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they like don't have very much land or they do, but it's like the extremes mm-hmm. and they, no matter what, always put in a pool because yeah. it's California. And so it's that whole like lap mm-hmm. pool thing. It's long and narrow. Yeah. There's just like enough yard to maybe put a chaise next to the pool, mm-hmm. but you're like, oh yeah, it's got a spacious yard. It's got a pool and a lounger and a strip of, a strip of grass. It's perfect. That's <laughs> all I need. I'm like, <laughs> That's all my dog <laughs> needs to use the bathroom and yeah. for me to swim. So, so there's like 10 times as much pools there's grass, which is, yeah. yeah, it's cool. You don't have to mow it. So it's just great. like a checklist. I think in certain states you're like, must have pool. Yep. So yeah. Okay. Speaking of grass, I didn't talk to him about this, but in my mind, I love the pools that have the coping, but then there's like grass that butts into it. I'm like that. Uh-huh. Sounds so lovely. Yeah. Anyway. Well, so just how, like how much coping, like a 12 you just inch. Have, like your, your 12 to 24 inch coping around it, but then grass butts into it. And so your loungers are sitting on grass. Like I'm like, Oh, that sounds dreamy yeah. Yeah. and not hot for like our little toesies. Ooh, and don't get any clippings oh, in the pool. Oh yeah. Can you imagine landscaping Ew. must, I guess they just really <laughs> tighten up that cover and then the estates that have them, <laughs> they don't worry about that. They have that leaf blower that works really hard. Anyway. Oh my gosh. Anybody if you're into that is, look, let's hang out. Let's anybody like else that. significant <laughs> other obsessed with their leaf blower. My mom gave Adam one and he just thinks He's just cleaning everything. He's not just blowing it all around. He's obsessed yeah. with it. That's a man. I thing. actually That's am. That's me too. No, uh-huh. it's me. Oh, okay. I like love our leaf blower. Yeah. yeah. I'm just like, yeah. Yeah. When I'm planting and then I have extra soil, like everywhere, I'm just like, I'll just blow it away. Okay, you. Here's what, this is not on pools, but here's what the leaf blower does. It's the least amount of time to spend outside to make your exterior look good. You just like blow it off and you're like, cleaned. Yeah. I you know totally. I mean? My yard was just trimmed. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes. I love that. Okay. Let's talk about pool covers. Okay. Um, cost and options for different pool covers. There's automatic, hard top, et cetera. Yeah. I think automatic is what we see the most. Yeah. And I've especially never seen a hard top. It must be for the, it sounds above like the Jeep pool. Does yeah. a hard top like flip out? Like, or how would you? I, I, I think know. so. He's okay. like, he, even he said that most of what they do is automatic. Like he's like, we don't do yeah. hard top. He said that there was this one, there's a loop lock cover that they, again, back in like Texas or a hotter area, or if you have, here's something interesting is like, if you're in Utah, you have to have an on, like the automatic cover is kind of a no brainer just because of our weather systems and, uh-huh. and things. And with that, you have to have a rectangular pool. 
Uh-huh. That's the cover that you have to have. For sure. Right. If you were like a crazy kidney bean of a thing and you're a big party with slides and everything, you might live in a hotter area. Uh-huh. And so for that, they do a loop lock cover, which like, if you look them up, they have like advertisements with like an elephant standing on it. And it's like a net, but it's just like a super hardy net cover or whatever that can go over organic shaped pools. Oh, so just like stretches to fit it. Yeah. I don't know exactly. And then the elephant is just showing how sturdy it yeah. is. Does everybody get an elephant? Well, like it's gift with purchase. You would get an <laughs> elephant get to elephant? just like prove to your friends that your loop lock cover is sturdy. Wait, is the elephant living or is it just a statue? <laughs> no, it's living. It's for it's, an advert. An it's advert. Just, <laughs> it's not just as an advertisement. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Yeah. That is sturdy. Yeah. But the loop lock cover sounded interesting. It's like if a you scrunchy. Are, it yeah. just like fits around the pool. It just stretches over. Yeah. That's great. Good but, to know. But there's options. So yeah. if you are, if you have a crazy shape in your head that you want for your pool, loop lock cover could be a good one for you, especially if you live in a hotter climate. That's awesome. Can we talk about child yeah. safety? Yeah. Okay. What's like a good range of pool depth for a family? Okay. This was interesting. We kind of talked about different types of pools. Cause you have like your dive pools where you have like a deep, you have it shallow on one end and then it gradually goes down deeper. And that's like at the other end, you dive off the diving board and you have it deeper, probably around like eight, nine feet. Mm-hmm. And then, but he's like, what a lot of people are doing are these play pools. And so on both short ends, you know, they, it's shallow and then it dips down to about six feet, four to six feet. Oh. So that like they can have basketballs. And he's like, those are the ones that people have been having so much fun with, especially if you have a family because like they can swim. If they're not dive pools. So if that's yeah. important to you, then do one of those. But these play pools are really great. And like, it's like six feet at the max. Mm-hmm. So you can still feel like you're completely submerged, but you can play, mm-hmm. you know, and so much of the time with a dive pool, he was saying, is you go over there, you dive off the diving board three, two, three times, you're done. And then you go to the shallow end and then everybody's clustered at the shallow end because they want to play games yeah. or just lounge. And, and it's kind of just like gradual. It's not stepped or anything, but it just gradually slopes down. Oh, that sounds lovely. To the four, six feet. I'm like, that yeah. does sound lovely because then you can kind of, if you don't want to get completely wet, you can just like throw your lounge chair like mm-hmm. a little bit in the water. And then still there's room for your kids to play yeah, without having to be right on top of you at the shallow end. Nice. So I love that option. That's yeah. great. Um, really quick, we have a word from uh, Grove. And um, Grove is just such an awesome thing. I love having them at my fingertips. They are really working toward um, being family and planet. Um, they have new commitments to them. And if you've ever been wanting to make more sustainable choices for your home in home care, beauty, and more, you can start today with Grove Collaborative. It's an app on your phone for me anyways. And I just, every week when I'm, you know, doing stuff around the house, my husband will say, Hey, I'm out of toilet bowl cleaner, or we need more of this or more of that. And I'm like, Oh, I keep melting my straws in the dishwasher. I'm going to get new more glass straws or plastic straws or whatever. They have everything that you need that's reusable and you can feel so much better about it. And I think they curate it really well. Um, whoever's doing all that work for them. So those of you that are more, um, discerning, which we know you are because you're listening to the podcast, Check it out. It's amazing. Um, and you can feel really good about the planet too. You can go to grove.com slash dear Alice today. You're going to get a free gift um, set worthy of $50 with your first order. Your shipping is fast and free. So you don't have to try and justify that in the grocery store. Like, oh, if I just pick it up right now, then I don't have to pay for shipping because the shipping is fast and free. And you can get started right now at grove.com slash dear Alice. Again, that's grove.com slash dear Alice. All right. So let's keep talking about child and safety. Yes. Um, What are the best, but not hideous solutions for child safety? I I think we've seen everything and it it is a real thing. Like it's, it's everybody's biggest fear if they have children and they're talking about a pool and they're putting all this money into it to make it beautiful, long lasting. Cause at some point they're not going to need the big black baby fence around it. And it also feels like you're stopping the party. Like when you look out, they're like, Oh, that looks Less luxurious. Like a lot of work to go and get in the, the pool. the lounges are outside the fence or, do you know what I mean? Totally. So what are, I don't know, what was the expert saying about what to do? Yeah, Terry was saying that like the national code, whether you have it like strictly around your pool or around your yard is six a six foot fence. You have to have that just. Six foot high or six, six foot feet from high. the pool? 
you know, six feet high. Okay. And so some people depended on how much space you have. Yeah. And he's like, even city to city, there's like different requirements too. So look that up as well. But he's like, you can do it around your yard. And then just like, there's different other like little mesh ones mm -hmm. too, that you can put around the pool to kind of help, um, kids not go in there. I've seen like the, the netting too, that goes over the top. You could do that. My brother-in-law has that in his Arizona house. So his kids don't drown when they're not using the pool. So that's like, again, like your cover, right? But again, it's, it's a barrier. Um, it's not the cutest. The thing that I thought was the most interesting that he said today was that there's alarms. So if you step away from your pool and like, and this is, this is nice. If you just want to leave, if you're in a place where you're like, I don't want to have a cover on it. I hate looking out there. It's ugly with a cover. I want to be able to see the water. It's relaxing. Um, there's actual alarms that like notify you as, or like it'll sound off, probably notifies your phone if there's any activity on the water. So you can quickly get up and go out and, you know, address what, whatever's happening. But I think at any, in any regard, you're still going to have to have some type of fence. So you'd just work with like your landscape architect or, you know, take cues from the house and like notice it, like what kind of fence that needs to be. Yeah. If you can be a plaster and stone fence, that would be beautiful around mm -hmm. your yard. Right. Um, or if you need to be a metal, a metal fence, like it just kind of is what it is. And I think the further back from the pool so that you can still have loungers mm -hmm. there is the best. And then when the party's ready and you're ready to watch your kids, that's when you open the gates. So yeah. what would you do? Would you, Let's say you don't want a fence, but you need it because you have young children. Would you do something that like could be removed later on? You know what I mean? Like in five years when your kids are like old enough to swim and you trust them and stuff like that. Yeah. Would you do that personally? Probably. Yeah. I think, I, yeah, I think I would be for sure anxious. My kids are pretty wild. So yeah, they would, they would dive. I do see kids swimming so early these days. Like they, they have do. babies just yeah. like floating in the water and well, they, they have like three year old classes or two year old yeah. classes. Yeah. So I'll bet you if you have a pool that swimming is like a real value of yours that you're going to have Get even teachers in your own pool that yeah. come over every morning and teach them how to swim and life saving lessons. Yeah. So that you can feel more comfortable with that. I know my sister in law has a pool down in St George and. I felt like they had black poles that were countersunk into the concrete mm -hmm. that made the fence. And now that all of her kids are like 10 years old or older, they've taken those out. Yeah. And um, I guess she just has to worry about if she's going to throw a party, you know, if there's going to be any littles, how they're yeah. going to reinforce that again. Yeah. Provide a lot of floaties. Have a big yeah. thing of like different floating, to, like things to attach to kids if you're going to have yeah. a party. Uh, but I think you're right. I think so many kids are being trained so early and, it sinks because a kid can drown in a bucket of water. Yeah. You know, so just like, I think just have, I like the temporary motion mm -hmm. of like feeling, not having that anxiety and doing like that small mesh around it. If you have little kids, Yeah, you know, at the beginning, if you're worried about it, but then being able to remove that so that it's not a permanent fixture. And so. then you have something to look forward to. I yeah. can move the fence exactly. in a couple of years. Yeah. It's kind of like getting rid of the bassinet and all the other, exactly. all the other yeah stuff all the child locks all the child locks it's, yep not in my future yet to get rid of those but totally. i look forward to the day my clock my clock is counting down so the alarm thing was super interesting so if i were to put in a pool right now i would for sure look into that yeah with whoever you're working with so that's great yeah. um okay lots of questions people had about stone or, or tile mm -hmm. Um, so they want to know, I feel like we talked a lot about decking and tile already, if there's a best stone to put around the pool and also what is the best patio material for cold weather climates? For cold weather climates. Yeah. Best patio material. So is that, I wonder if that's like off of the pool, like past the, I would coping think so. and decking. I yeah. would say the I would keep it consistent patio. like yeah. that deck ton. If yeah. that's your coping, that would be my continuous decking material. Mm -hmm. So. And he, he does pools in cold weather, obviously, because we live in Utah. So that was a big suggestion yeah. of his. So check that out. Yeah. And like some most, I think there's a question there about bluestone. Yes. Also someone, we all love the look of bluestone. It's really, really beautiful. It feels very East coast. Yeah. It just gets so hot That's out here said. in the West. Yeah. Any suggestions for pool decking? They said, I love bluestone, but it's so hot for my kids. Yeah. yeah. I would look, I would look into like. Again, if you're in cold weather, there, there's like smoother travertines that can kind of give you that bluestone look mm -hmm. that you can do. But again, in Utah, that's hard because it's 
it's too cold, right? Mm-hmm. And it sounds like where she's at, it's also too cold. So I would honestly, I'd probably go to the Decton or a porcelain material and see what can I find that looks like a uh, imitation bluestone that will maybe have some properties in it that won't get so oh, hot. Yeah. Yeah. But that's, it'll likely be a man-made, but you can still kind of go into it with, I love the look of bluestone. How dark can I get when you're talking to your person? Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Um, here's another question. They said, we need to replace the border tile of our gunite pool. What are some tile ideas? Ooh, I would take cues if you're, if you're doing a reno and if it's just the tile you're replacing, I'd be curious what your coping is, mm-hmm. if that's also being replaced. And then I would probably, again, try and get that continuous look by taking what is successful around there that you're not taking out. And how do I continue that down for the tile? Um, mm-hmm. One one tile trick that we've done a few times that we love. What is, okay, what is the resort? I just there's, a, there's a hotel in Tulum that's like a black and white checkered floor. There's that one. Is oh, that, yeah. Oh. That one, but then the actual one in St. George. That's the luxury oh, resort. yeah. Um, Amangiri. Thank yeah, you, Amangiri. Amangiri. Look yeah. up Amangiri. It's so pretty. And this one, they've actually subtracted spell, a stone. Spell Amangiri for the people. Court. A-M- a-N-G-I-R-I. Yeah. I've like wanted to stay there for it's years. So, so how much does yeah. it cost a night, Corey? I think it's like 1500 a night. Yeah. So, I mean, I think that's just starting too. You can get up from there, but you can like run into famous celebrities because that's like a big spot for them, you know? So you can brush shoulders with those people. And our very own St. George. Our yes. very own St. George. Uh-huh. It's not far from it's Powell, not, actually. It's yeah, like I, not in St. George proper. No. It's like, yeah. what is it? East of St. George. Kind of so like, it's kind of in the middle of nowhere. When you're which driving is cool. out of Powell, you see the turnoff to go to Tom and Jerry. Is there like a like, sign? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it looks so pretty. Well, there's like four in the world. And like one of them's uh-huh. like in the Middle East somewhere. There's one in Southern Rainy Utah. Bear. It's crazy. Guys, yeah. Utah's so diverse. So anyway, but Almond Jerry, I saw it first there and it wasn't actually a tile, but they actually had subtracted a tile. And when you look at the picture, it looked like this checkerboard that was lining their pool. And then like, as you look in, like Jess is talking about in the Tulum hotels in Morocco, you see all these really rad checkerboard tiles um, to do a full, that'd be my dream to do a full tile pool here in Utah. Yeah. It would be a nightmare. It's just like, you, we can't get away with it, but what we can do. a lot of disposable income that you just want emergency keep, currency. You just want to keep <laughs> spending money on your pool yeah. every year. Every to single year. To do a year. checkered <laughs> tile pool. But we have this one concept from Morocco that's like mm-hmm. kind of a baked red and white check. Yeah. The whole bottom of the pool, the sides of the pool, Ooh. the deck, everything. So and you're good. like, Oh my gosh, that is paradise. Yeah, yeah, it's so beautiful. But what we've done is, again, taking into consideration all your pool materials, your coping, your plaster color, and then try and find a tile um, that you can actually do as the liner. And you can do them like tall wise, like if you were to take, I don't know, just like a, a four by eight tile, you know, and then you run it vertically and alternate the color. So you have like a white, then a charcoal, then a white, then a charcoal or terracotta and cream or terra, you know, mm. you can, cr- you can create a really cool look mm-hmm. lining that pool. Um, that feels very exo- exotic. So yes. do you do like, is there a specific tile? Like, or can you just do like any, mm-hmm. like any- you have to use like a, I think like a porcelain okay. or just porcelain like a, tile. like a wet rated okay. tile, but mm-hmm. Cool. Which most are because you put them in showers. Showers, yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. But I do think it has. It might need to be an outdoor, like just for, like, like for temperature. Don't be using natural stone like marble or yeah. anything like that. Makes yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah. But there's some really beautiful ones. But even that, like we we try and keep it quite tailored. We're not going to be using. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Just I always think of the glass because when you go into a pool supply store, you usually see the black or sorry the glass little one by ones. Yeah. And they're usually blue and they just remind me of like the 90s contemporary. Mm -hmm. I hate it. (laughs) So, okay, let's change gears just for a second. Yeah. I'm curious to know what he says about this. Um, Black bottom pools. Oh yeah. Are they a trend? Is it hot? Like people are doing them right now to give your pool that really deep look. They're also using black windows and black garage Mm -hmm. doors. Black and white's a big thing. So like that black pool gives you that really mysterious, deep, deep pool. Of, yeah. What does he say about it? He says it's a trend for sure. And like okay. probably the same way we say black windows, you know, those are a trend too. Sure. Um, I, I personally, I think we both do. Like we love the depth and it doesn't have to be black, but there's so many different types of plaster colors you can do because you can do ones that are like more gray or you can do ones that have a hint more blue or you can do ones that feel more green. So it's reflecting the landscape. 
Mm-hmm. So there's so many different tones that yeah. you can create and then kind of just like the, whether it's like more saturated, it's deeper, and then you can continue to get it lighter. I don't love a white pool yeah. or I feel like I'm at a rec center. I know, but don't you, you know? feel like, like, I feel like when we're talking about pools, like we're talking to all you sexy people out there that don't yeah. have little kids that could potentially drown and get lost in the depths. Yeah of a dark pool with a tiny human on yeah. the bottom. Sorry, that's a really yeah. terrible visual, but don't you think that like everybody's grown up now, we're not too worried about yeah. safety. We can have a deep pool. We're not trying to yeah. have a good time, just maybe float yeah. and, and be like really foxy and like yeah. do a do a photo shoot. Yeah, and, <laughs> and, and that's why we're here to tell you to do it, I think in a deeper saturation because the water does look more beautiful yeah. in our minds. But still like we've had some clients that have done a pool without consulting us and it's been light. And I'm like, go back there. I'm like, oh, I'm blinded. I'm yeah. at the rec center again, totally. you know? And <laughs> it's such a, it's such a bum ski and because they don't know better mm-hmm. or they didn't know to ask. And so that is why we're doing this podcast guys. Yes. So you can at least go to whatever comfort level you are with however many small children, grandchildren, entertaining wise uh-huh. to go even toward like the medium darks, you know, just so I don't know if I would do black because it just fades fast. And yeah. again, then you have to replaster yeah. and, and you just see like more, it's kind of like a black, a dark wood floor. You just see more. A dark so car. Yeah. You can see everything. Yeah. And it just like, it just weathers yeah. quicker. And so like anything, go more medium tone to still get some depth, mm-hmm. but not have it be trendy, but more classic and then figure yeah. out what tone you like. And then you can add color kind of I from there. That. Would you say like, if you... Like you don't like white. Is that like the bright white? Like, could you do like a darker like shades of white and plaster and you're cool with that or no? Mm, I still like a tone of something mm-hmm. like the one I sent one to Terry that I was just like, this is like, I love this so much. He's like, Oh, it has a green in it. Mm-hmm. It's like, and it's reflecting the landscape and it's a medium, mm-hmm. you know? So anyway. that's a good call. Yeah. yeah. It's like adds to your backyard. It's like, yeah, part so of it's your just landscape. kind of like, if you're like, really like, I love and the desert landscapes and grasses and tropic tropical and stuff. So of course I'm a light green. It's my Don't favorite put a color. White pool in the middle of that oasis. No. Yeah. Offensive. Did you ask him if it will were... magnify the white? <laughs> you know, you will need sunglasses. You will. <laughs> yeah. Um, does it cost more to do colors of plaster or is it, did Probably you ask just him the that? upkeep? Yeah. Right. Up, upkeep. I, I don't know if there's any initial like added cost is just trying to get it to the cocktail of color you want, but, Mm -hmm. but you got tons of disposable income. So you don't care. (sighs) That's what the colored pool person thinks. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, why do I care? I, I need things to, that's my, my like, that's what I want. Right. We need to put that. That's amazing. I'm going to put my favorite pool on the, on the notes for y'all. We should do that. Let's do all the best, all of our favorite pools in the show notes. Yeah. Great. Okay. Hot tubs. Let's talk about hot tubs really quick. Oh yeah. Can you have a hot tub inside of your pool? Like I see on Pinterest or does the water not mix? Nope. You totally can. Yeah. You can put your spa like in there, but usually just have like a runoff or something where that water goes. And so it's, you didn't get into like all the logistics, but you can totally. Is it kind of like the infinity pool edge? Like it will really suck it down in there and then the pool stays cool and the hot tub stays hot. Yeah. And there's, and there's obviously like barriers that you might not see on Pinterest, you know, Mm -hmm. that do kind of keep a separation, Mm -hmm. but kind of create that look that you're craving, Mm -hmm. you know, just to have it continuous. That's Um, nice. So yeah. Just really easy to like mermaid to flip your body in to one or the other. (laughs) You don't have to like fully get out of the pool. I know. Yeah, yeah, which is nice. And he was talking about just like different spas and you have ones that are out completely away from the pool. You have ones that are like at the end, you know, mm-hmm. where they're just like raised up a little bit and overlooking everything, That's which he awesome. does a lot. So anyway, there's lots of options with spas as you're kind of figuring out your layout. I'll bet they both get a lot of play if they're connected like that. Oh, I bet. Yeah. Because then you don't have to get out, like you adjust your swimsuit. <laughs> yeah, worst. you can just get into the hot tub, warm well, up and then get out. <clears throat> exactly. Me and some friends went to Mexico last year and quit it was, bragging. I was about to say, right? stop bragging. <laughs> we had a private house. It was crazy. Oh my chef, gosh. Everything. Um, but we, was the pool tiled? Yes. Yeah. It was awesome. The whole thing? Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, like it, it was pretty bad. You're okay. better than us. Uh, no, I'm not at all. Just uh, work too hard. We go to Mexico more. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Let's book it. Um, to loom our best. It was cool having the hot tub integrated into the pool because then people who wanted to do both yeah. were still at the same party. You know what I mean? Yeah. Rather than be like, hey, what's nice. everyone doing over there? That was the other, that was the main reason that I liked it. If you like mm-hmm. telling secrets, do the offsite one. There you go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you can like sit 
or if you're higher like, than them. Yeah. You, there, there you Talk go. Talk smack. Yeah. Yep. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> she looks terrible. In that That's subject. hilarious. I'm okay. One last um, round. This is accessories. This is your beach towels and your toys and all of the accessorizing around the pool, potted plants, landscaping, the wow factor. Oh man. Okay. So the first question is beach towels. Where do you find good looking and feeling uh, beach towels for your home? Good looking and feeling. So like you like the hand of them. Mm -hmm. They're comfortable. Um, you can wrap around your body. You can just lay on them. What's the best? Yeah. There's something so gorgeous in my mind. Again, when you see the pool that I love, you'll be like, yeah, of course you want like a Turkish towel with like fringes on the end and linen wrapping you. Like that sounds the loveliest. And it just becomes a sarong or like a, right. or like a beach dress with one exactly. shoulder. Or a blanket because it has heating properties as well at nighttime. Yeah, so, totally. Yeah. Um, so I love the idea and and we, I, I don't know all the different like fading because we carry a line called Leap Co. Mm -hmm. And they have the most beautiful, like different sizes of just these linen towels. Again, mm -hmm. I don't know. They're probably not great. They're like, huge. If, if they're your kids like, are moved out. They're called fautas <laughs> yeah. and you can use them on oh. a twin bed. You can wrap them around your body. You can use them as a scarf. You yeah. can, I use them when I get out of the shower, but mm -hmm. they're lovely with fringes and they are more absorbent than Terry, if you can believe yeah. it. Like you yeah. dry off faster, they dry faster. And so the, um, antimicrobial too, it's yeah, better for you. Like yes. it's not as dirty and it doesn't, it doesn't like hold stay on wet longer. And so it yeah. never gets that like smell like a totally. locker room. Yeah. So those are really great. And I think with your, um, pool goal mm -hmm. pool, um, that we're going to put on here, I do, I do think the Turkish towel, right. I can't really imagine me wrapped up in anything else large. Yeah. You'd be a total Fox. We could make a, <gasps> what do they call that? Music video. Uh, a music video. <laughs> <laughs> the halter. We can make a halter Ooh, dress out of it for you. We just tie it around your neck. Mm -hmm. yeah. One more flattering. One thing thing it looks I like good about. on the shoulders. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah. I like about that is they're not crazy heavy either. So having them, using them for outside when it's yeah. like, you know, men could time around their waist they and fast. look exotic. Yeah. They dry yes. fast. They dry so fast. Yeah. Yeah. We, we quickly did a deep dive um, for a client that we were doing pool accessories and she wanted some darling ones. We found some really cool lines. Um, one was called K O B N Coben. That was the one out of, out of Australia that had some really rad designs. Hey. I love that. There's also one called Baina B A I N A. Um, so if you look up those, those have some really fun ideas. There's a bunch of different ones. I'm sure if you went to any like Crate and Barrel or any any of those, they have a section for pools and things. But um, yeah, look toward the Aussies. <laughs> I'm like, you know, they're better than us. They're better than us. Everything they oh, do is show. Cooler, so. um, another and it's thing, fun to not have the same <sighs> pool know. towels as everybody else too. Totally. Totally. Yeah. And it's fun. Like if you do have a pool bath to have them like stacked up there, you know, and just waiting mm -hmm. to be used and. Anyway, that's darling. I was going to say there was this one other um, thing. I can't remember what company we got it from, but it was like this thing that you actually float in the pool. And it was like this rattan bar cart that like, it, it was so pretty. It was like woven. So like, can you imagine like just being at a party and just like kind of drinks floating from here to there? Cause it's like kind of grazing on the water, but it's rattan. Oh my gosh. And it was so, so pretty. Wow. I'll see if we can find the link and put on the show notes too. Oh my gosh. You should love that way. Yeah. Anyway, we love that. And there's so many fun, like just different beach balls or whatever, like stage you're at with your pool um, to accessorize around there. I and that. I think I always love it too. Like just like beautiful planters with like things spilling out of them mm -hmm. all over there. So just as far as accessorizing goes, just kind of building up scenes with different heights, you know, just like you would in any composition. Yeah. Right. So I love that look too. That's just like really organic kind of minimal and like the big teak root balls on the ground. Ooh. Yes. I think that's so pretty. We have teak root balls. And as soon as they got in, I was like, we need a pool. I know. <laughs> or we need to put this around all the mm -hmm. pools. Just, yeah, that organica, just that whole vibe. You feel like you're not in Utah or you feel like you're out of, you're, you're on, vacation on vacation. your very own home. And you've always said this too. There's something about looking outside your window and seeing a pool that makes you like, I'm on vacation. Yeah. It's you so know? relaxing. So. I like I'm embarrassed to admit this, but I don't like getting wet. I'm a Leo. I think I'm an air sign or a fire sign or something. And I just, there's something about me that just doesn't want to get wet. I think I'm a water. You must be like, yeah. cause a lot of people are like, what? There's a pool. Where's my suit? I'm jumping in. And I'm like, what are you crazy? Like you'll have to get ready all over again. They're like, who would care when there's a pool and they just want to get in it. And some people love water and some are like, huh, eh, whatever. But even that being said, like in my dream, 
my house has a pool in the backyard and the house kind of wraps around it and I can just look at it Mm -hmm. and feel like I'm on vacation or getting it up to my ankles and like pace and be on the phone or sit in it with my people. Yell at people on the phone while you walk past your pool. But I don't (laughs) don't want to like put my face in it. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. Bizarre. Oh, I was just going to ask if that's a real thing about, cause I'm a Leo as well. And I've never thought about it, but I only, it has to be warm water or it's just conditions no. have to be yeah, perfect. Yeah. yeah totally. Like, no, too. thank you. To that's the how I feel Ocean. about snow skiing. I'm like, conditions have to be perfect. It's gotta be sunny. It's gotta be a little bit warm. It can't be too cold. Can't yeah. be snowing. Yeah. The lodge yeah. has to have a great lunch. What are, we doing, what are we doing living in Utah? I don't, that's the I don't, thing. I have Fantastic no question. idea, but it's not our fault. We were born yeah, this way. That's true. In these no. months, in these times. <laughs> so some people love it, some don't, but I think we all love the look of it. Yeah. Yeah. So, and we, we look great in layers. Yeah. You know, <laughs> oh, definitely. <laughs> Oh, you guys, I hope this has been helpful for you. Um, Really quick, one last word from our sponsor, Grove. Um, You can switch to sustainable products for every room in your home, from laundry care to hand soaps to I love the straws and the cups and the um, beauty stuff. I also love anything beautiful laundry. I'm using their... um, one of their uh, laundries right now, there's their stuff that I just keep folding it. And then I'm like sticking it next to my nose because I love the way it smells so much. Best. Anyway, I feel like whoever is doing their um, curation is an expert level at doing this the most um, oh sustainable way. And it feels good and it looks good and it's so easy to use. You guys can just go um, to grove.com slash dear Alice today and get a free gift worth up to $50 with your first order. Plus shipping is fast and free. Get started right now at grove.com slash dear Alice. Again, that's grove.com slash dear Alice. Thanks for listening guys. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for listening. If you like our show, please leave a five-star rating. 